Here we go again. What's going on? I swear I'll kill you. I've done it before. You can't run. Requesting backup in my sector. 3-4 base, negative. Subject is entering town. We'll get him on the other side. Head brought to my desk! We're reviewing surveillance as we speak. Once you find him, report to me. I'm alerting the president. Uh, sir? Are you sure? We don't age, and some of us don't seem to think either. I'm gonna kill that guy. Understood. Thank you. 
Sam? Oh, hey, look who's finally kicking. Want the slug? I'm good. Suit yourself. <laughs> How long am I stuck here? Well, normally I'd say about a week, but knowing you, you'll be out of here by tomorrow. Oh, you know those raids we were planning? We did them. Um, found a lot of interesting stuff, but this stuck out the most. Sam, did you read this? I skimmed through it. Sam, this is what we need. This is what we've been looking for. This, this. <coughs> Sandstone. Yes? We've received word on base 432. We lost everything on Sandstone. Put everyone on high alert. I don't want any newspapers printed about this. What about the news, sir? No news. Just keep a constant loop of the nation's motto. At least that will remind people who they're serving. Very good, sir. I want surveillance amplified. Anybody who even tries to release this information should be shot on sight. I want those files back on my desk. Now. Yes, sir. Right away. Dose. Good. Keep me posted. Ugh, we need better defenses. No, but it is your fault that way I have to deal with them like this. Here. He started to remember his dreams, too. Good. 
You know he's gonna start looking for you. I know. Tell my brother I'll meet him later tonight at the bridge. Okay. I'm a life loving man myself. And handing this document into the government newspaper ain't the best way to keep breeding. I agree. We should go for a much more subtle approach. Put copies in people's mailboxes? Would you believe a piece of paper found in your mailbox? So it must be something that cannot be traced but can yield a large impact. Actually, I have an idea. This used to overlook a huge river. You shouldn't sneak up on people, Vivian. It used to overlook a river before they filled it up to make room for buildings. I know. I approve the expenses. A shame. Vivian, I have some bad news. Wonderful. It took sandstone. What? Who? The... The organization. The... The rebels. Was it? Yes. Just proceed. I'm here to assure you that we are in no danger. The absence of the media is an only scheduled maintenance. If we can get them to end the broadcast, I think I can intercept the stream. Just wait. Are you sure? Wait for it. Wait for it. Now. Yesterday, the entire the country is watching this. That detailed plans about innocent civilians were taken from their wives and used for an experiment. We ask your help in tracking down those responsible for this experiment. Uh, and their names are as follows. And as always, Wait, what's going on? They cut us off. Do they know where we are? Not possible, not the way I rigged this up. Everything's fine. Are you sure? Is there anything you need? What, what's everyone saying about the, the newscast? Well, I heard Weiss and Johnson talking, and they both thought it went really well. Right. <sighs> we tried to track the signal that interrupted your broadcast, but it proved useless. So far, we haven't seen any immediate civil unrest. We think most people don't believe in it. However, if this happens again, it may convince people to take action. And? Where are the files? Sir, despite all our security and surveillance, we don't have any leads to go on. I want to make sure you know as well as I do the importance of this situation. This is not a small matter. Do, sir. Good. We need to search every building, every room, every drawer. I need those files at all costs. We have a chance to avert this yet. Yes, sir. You're a good soldier. Dismissed. and gentlemen. We are now approaching the final stages of our plan. Soon, we will be able to express ourselves in any way we wish. Soon, we will be able to pick our own jobs, to walk the streets without fear of being killed. Very soon, there will be music where now there is only silence. And there will be color where now there is only shades of gray. It is the very nature of man to fight for what is right. 
even if it requires the ultimate sacrifice. So with our victory so close at hand, I call upon you all to be ready to possibly make that sacrifice. You will be sacrificing yourselves for the greater good of every man, woman, and child in this city. Tomorrow, I am tracking down one of these mysterious victims of Project Sandstone. With such an unstoppable force on our side, we cannot possibly fail. Now that we're ready to go, let's go! Christopher Borden? Yes. Yes. May I come in? Are you trying to sell me something because I don't usually buy? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Living room is this. Well? Ever heard of something called sandstone? Hmm. I think I saw that on the news the other day. Is that what all this is about? Well, yeah. Look, I'm gonna need your trust. Everything we're about to talk about is strictly confidential. And true. True? I know how this is all gonna sound, but trust me. We have proof. Listen, just what is this all about? Look, just listen, okay? <sighs> 10 years ago, our government started funding another genetic engineering experiment. What? One of these projects was called Sandstone. Its intent was to create a human who could survive anything, specifically nuclear war. Hundreds of people were unwillingly taken from their lives and used for this experiment. You come into my house, you tell me all these things, just, just stop. Your house? Just give me one reason why I shouldn't call the police right now. I think you should realize that what you've been taught may differ from the truth. What if I'm right? You're not. What if I am right? What if I'm right, and you don't do anything about it? But, what if? Look, I'm exceedingly impatient. I came here to reveal to you the truth, and give you the chance to save thousands of lives. But why are you telling me all this? You are one of the few survivors of Project Sandstone. What, what, what is this? As I stated before, we have proof. We have the original documents. I... I don't understand. What... Why me? How? I'm trying to explain, okay? They found that everyone has an inherent electrical charge, and that by increasing this charge acts as sort of a defibrillator for individual cells. They found that you can bond individual atoms together using electroweak force. So even if the atoms were separated, say vaporized, they will eventually reassemble. When they engineered the serum, they found that the colder the electroweak bonding was, the slower it was to take place. So they began stress testing. Only two survived. Only two made it. You are one of them. But that doesn't make any sense. I get hurt like everyone else. No one said you'd be resilient to pain. Everything will hurt just as much, but no matter what happens, you will not die. Do you understand? I think so. Our organization is dedicated to stopping this human experimentation. We want freedom, but we need you. <sighs> yeah. I knew you would. Does... does it wear off? The experiment, I mean? We... we don't know. Maybe... maybe not. It never specified. But... You said two people survived. Who was the other? A Vivian Kearns. She doesn't live too far from here. She's my girlfriend. You know her? We need her help too. Can you talk to her? Yeah. <sighs> Good. I'll be in touch.
sir. Yesterday we found Kenneth Sibelius in the house of a Christopher Borden. Really? Yes, sir. He seemed to make quite an impression. Let's get a search team to look through every building that we can't see. Yes, sir. Good. Well, this is it. Our base. How often do you come here? We live here. Barracks upstairs. Get down! On the floor! Don't you have any family? No. All of our families have been killed by the government. Why haven't they found you out yet? To them, this building is just another number. They don't know anything about us here. Ever worried they could find you here? <sighs> Always. But we have plans in case of such emergencies, mainly involving curse words and ninja-level kung fu. Contact with the search team in sector 9 by 4. Excellent. Do you know the exact location? Yes, sir. Building 617. Good. I want you to give them this. Sir. Just do it. I'm here. Oh, uh, there was a crack in the lead a while back. I was just seeing how my fix was holding up. So, what's with the picture then? Can I see? She's beautiful. She's gone. I'm sorry. What happened? She meant the world to me. Look, if you don't want to talk about it, then... Okay, well, I'll see you later then. Someone here? Y yeah, this came in the mail. We get mail? I guess we do now. <sighs> you are hereby summoned to the government headquarters by President John Nickel. <sighs> Funny. <laughs> Look for yourself. Do they think we'd be stupid enough to just walk right in? Maybe we are. What? Get everyone ready. The time has come. Where are you going? I have some personal business. Vivian. Listen. I owe you an apology for earlier. No, I owe you one. I shouldn't have walked in like that. Well, regardless, um, there's something you should know about our upcoming plan. Oh. Yeah, it'd be better if I showed you, actually. Should Christopher... Oh, no. Christopher... It'd be better if he stayed here. Security reasons. You understand. What is this? This is the future. What?
Found it two years ago. Finally got it working. Kenneth, what do you plan on doing? We're gonna take back the city. And this is gonna do it for us. You're going to blow up the... Government headquarters. And John? Well, that's where you and Christopher come in. You want us to... Help me capture him. Then what? Revenge. Kenneth, what happened? What do you mean? Why are you like this? Why am I doing this? Yes. I was waiting for her to come back home. Shot her? She died of radiation poisoning. Radiation? You killed her! The being threat had to be terminated. We're following orders from the highest authority. I'm gonna have to ask you again go home.
time. Get ready. Okay, so once we reach the government headquarters, we're splitting up. I'm going after John, and you and Christopher are in charge of taking out the security in the parking garage. Right? Well, well. Tennis side fellas. You've been quite the nuisance. Bring the cell 34B. All right, great work. You two get to that terminal, and I'll meet you out back. Right. Wait. What is it, Chris? We don't have time. Thanks for everything. Thanks for giving us a chance to fight for what we believe in. What is this? Who am I? Someone useless. Tell me. What? The truth? It's been here all along, right on my desk. Yet you haven't given it more than the quick perusal. Try as you might, you can't bring yourself to read it. But you knew that already, didn't you? You already know everything. You've been here before, hundreds of thousands of times. We've had this conversation so many times, it's become a part of you, a piece of you you bury deep inside, only to be surprised when it springs back up. I guess it keeps things interesting for you. No. No. You're useless, trapped in your own mind doomed to repeat your memories over and over again, each time becoming more corrupt. A drug-induced psychotic coma, the only thing that could keep the sandstone survivor from breaking free. No. You're just going through the motions, because you know what happens next. You can't help it. Worth a try. Pointless. Make it quick. He's my patient. We'll go at my pace. Do you understand me? And I'm the one who pays you. He's already dead. Kenneth, you are Christopher.
Kenneth, how did Marie die? She, 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 no, 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 no. Lies. The truth. There is none. What? She's not dead. Marie! No. I, I saw. Saw what? Your dreams? No! You already know this! Why should I believe you? And why shouldn't you believe me? No! Oh, get over it. What has happened before? Then I guess you know about mom. Here we go again.